Alright guys, in this video you're going to be learning really quick and fast how to make this cube move around in the Blender game engine. Make this really simple. Okay, hit F4 on your keyboard or go to Logic down at the bottom over here. And then you see cube, cube, cube. Three cubes. And right next to all these cubes we have an add button. Let's just hit those add buttons. Alright, I'm going to make the connections between all three of these. And how I'm going to do that is, you see this little um, sort of spear here? I'm just going to left click and drag and drop that onto the other ones. Just like that. Alright. I'm just gonna name this sensor just for the heck of it. I'm gonna call it the I'm gonna call it up. Because we just want this going the up direction here. And you see it's called always right over here. We need to change that to keyboard. And then see key. Let's click on this, press the key. Up. My up arrow key. I'm gonna press that. And then I just define my key for that. And now I'm gonna go all the way over to the right because this um, controller here is just keeping the flow basically going, keeping it constant all the way over to here. And we're going to make this go up in the x-axis here, which x is color-coded red. As you can see in the grid there, that's red, so 0.2 positive. All right. And then that should be good. If I hit P for play, and then forward key, you notice that the sphere goes in that direction, or the cube. Let's just take these little windows down here and add a new one. Hit add on each. Let's make those connections again, just by, you know, left click on this sphere and drop it on top of the other spear, just like that. And then, always change that to keyboard again. And I can change it to right, left, bottom, up, down, you know, any direction. So let's go left. And then I'm going to look at the center here. See, it's keeping it constant, keeping it flowing. And then, what do I want it to do? That's over here, the accolator. Okay, what I want it to do is go in the y-axis, which is um, green there. So it's x, y, and Z. Okay, so I'm going to change Y over here to 0.3. Alright, and now if I hit P, now I can go left and I can go up. So now I have control over that. So as you can see here, all you need to do now is just, you know, create two more of these and then change them to keyboard. Okay. You know, change them to keyboard. You know, you gotta create two more of each. And then just make the correct connections. And then if you want to keep it organized, just drop these little guys. Just like that. And then, you know, make your connections. Just like that. And then just remember whenever you want to go in like the Z axes to to find that. And then Say if you wanted to instead go in a negative direction, negative of positive y would be just, you know, negative 0.3. You know, and that's in the z-axis, so this is going to go down, and it's going to go down to the key of um, spacebar. I'm going to change the spacebar just for the heck of it. And then there you go. So that's basically how you're going to control. You should have everything you need to know now to basically, you know, just control... Um, some of the objects in the scene. So there you go. And thanks for watching. Go to RizWorld.com if you want um, you know, tech news, reviews, um, articles you can read, you know, stuff. You know, you can find good prices on um, and some products there. I mean, I mean, you can find good products. So you know, that's it for the tutorial. Go to RizWorld.com if you want. You know, to watch reviews. Um, you know, tech news, Q and A, all that good stuff. Articles, just you know, go there. Um, and please subscribe to my page and the Raised World page. And thanks for watching.